Here are five tips. More energy! On how to take better pictures and videos with your smartphone. I don't know what that was. Tip number one, holding your phone more stable. This seems like a super simple, super stupid thing to say, but you won't believe how many times I'm guilty of this myself, taking pictures with your phone or a camera and you're just holding it with one hand, you go to take the picture and it's all super shaky and it's not very good and you end up getting all this kind of crazy wobble and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. If you just do something so simple as to hold the phone with one hand and with another hand, one hand in one hand, it will stabilize a lot of your shots and you will get a lot better quality photo and video, a lot less shake and less blur, unless you want blur. Blur can be artistic. Don't overdo the blur though. Tip number two is changing perspective. You could either get low or, or you could get high. Still can't reach those games on the top shelf though. But when you change your perspective, you get a whole new look on different things that are everyday things. Take taking pictures of tables or taking pictures of flowers. Anytime you take a picture of something ordinary from a different perspective, you get a new look and so does your viewer. The next one is find colors that pop. Now, I'm bad with colors, so I don't really know if any of these colors pop out here, but I'm standing in front of a bookcase and there are a lot of different color books. Finding colors that pop really help bring out some dimensionality and personality in your pictures. Uh, unless you want to take black and white pictures like me, you could do that too. All right, ready for tip number four? So tip number four is look for the line. Looking for the lines is a really easy way to help give power and draw attention to what you want to focus in your photo. So for instance, there are four types of lines that we can talk about. You have horizontal lines, vertical lines, uh, diagonal lines, that's a hard one, and convergent lines. Now, by far my favorite are the convergent lines. Those, uh, you know, you can use to help isolate a subject or make a subject pop out of a photo. And it's a really handy way to draw your eye and draw attention to it. Now with diagonal lines, diagonal lines often uh, imply and give over a sense of movement. So if you wanna convey, you know, walking down the street or moving through the image. Diagonal lines could be a good thing to look for. Uh, horizontal lines give you a big sense of space and uh, vertical lines often can give you a sense of like hierarchy, like uh, moving your eye up. So something on less importance on the bottom, more importance on the top. Uh, those are just some different types of leading lines that you can use to look for when you're taking your photography and you're taking your photos and your videos. All right, so for tip number five, we have one of my favorites, which is just experiment. Now, this, you know, I like a lot because it really allows you to bring the art with a capital A out in your photography and your videography. It allows you to really see what works. And I find that when I do experimenting, I do the most growing as a photographer. It helps the most. You make a ton of mistakes. Here are some examples of some of the mistakes that I've made, some of the bad pictures that just, you know, they might be fun pictures, but they're not necessarily great photographs. Um, but every single picture is a learning experience. For every one good picture that I take or I post, there might be a hundred bad ones. And that's part of the fun and part of the um, journey of being a photographer is making those mistakes. So super important experiment, make those mistakes and, and, and find your niche in photography. Find what really works for you. What 
I do isn't gonna work for you and what you do isn't gonna work for me. You have to find what feels good to you, what you like to see, and that's it. Just do it. Like, corny as it sounds, experiment and have fun with it. Um, that's it for these tips. Uh, if you want, please like and subscribe. Maybe check out one of my other videos that I talked about just starting a YouTube channel. That's, that's a fun one. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, say hi to me down in the comments. I try to respond to every comment and uh, have a good one. Bye.